are back with this lovely bastard in his journey to cover the world in penises. We're going to see today what he's been up to. As you can see, he's still at Penis Island. There's the flag of Penis Island. The iconic shield of Penis Island right there as well. More flags of Penis Island as well. And obviously the iconic clouds of Penis Island. So, yeah, it's just, you know, isn't faked. This is 100% in Penis Island. A very dangerous place for human beings to go. Now that penis plant has opened the way for us. And we're here with those snow angel things on the floor, because why not? And this glorious bastard. Well, he's, he's a fearsome son of a gun. He wants us to give him herpes. So we do give him a nice green dot, run about there. He gives us presents. And he's like, thank you for my herpes, much appreciated. We're just like, nah, no problem, man. It's cool. And uh, so he wants to know if we can do more to him. So what we do is we move the herpes southward. And we cover it up with, you know, the obvious disguise for herpes. A brand new penis. We choose the black penis for this, because can't go wrong with black. And they, well, it's more brown, but brown, black, you know, both excellent colours. We smother the uh, brown penis with orange penises, which obviously, once again, it's the same dude as last time. He's still got his STD, yellow gunk coming out of its head, so, you know. Also, that penis up there appears to have been cut in half. But what you gotta do really, sometimes your penis gets cut in half, there's nothing you can do about it. See? Oh, that's just divine. He's really pleased with what we've done. And this guy has a very strange lump on his penis. Well, he's nuts. So we're gonna try and flatten it. But, you know, we're not really helping at all. So we just tell him to go to the doctor and see if we can get that sorted and we go on our way. That bird's going away again. No one likes that bird, let's be fair. More, more Penis Island flags. You know, just to rub in where we are, once again. Now, we're in this place with cushy music going on. It's every time, like, you know, you just want to party. This guy has lost his moustache, which is unfortunate, so our boy is going to give him a new moustache. He draws this weird odd shape. No idea what that is. Then he draws another weird odd shape. No idea, once again. And now, he draws a very rare hammerhead penis, which is known for looking like a hammerhead shark. But obviously it's a penis, and it don't bite. Well, it might bite, you never know. And now there's this very oddly shaped penis head. Also, he does have a bit of skin coming out of the bottom of his balls. Not sure if that's supposed to be there, but there you go. Now this is this is pure black, black penis. So if you're robbing robbing a place, they won't see your penis mustache. Because you know, look at this guy. He's clearly he's clearly a robber. He's 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 out to rob people's houses and stuff. He doesn't want to be caught. We don't want to give him a bright orange penis for a moustache, do we? He's happy with his new moustache, he's dancing, he gives us a present, we go on our way. Well, we take a nice picture of him, look at him. Bloody glorious. And now we're here in this creepy place with loads of candles. And we're greeted by a very weird pumpkin head thing. Who clearly wants us to make him more scary. Because he's uh, some kind of scarecrow, apparently. So there you go. So what we do is, obviously, we get the basics. We get a nice, a nice brown penis for him, right on the centre of his head. There you go. 
that can be his nose. If you, you know, true beauty standards of 2017. Get rid of your nose. Don't need it. Replace it with a nice big penis. Don't matter what colour. You could have blue penis. You can have an orange penis. Don't matter. As long as it's a penis. And he's got an oddly shaped eye. And well, his eyes have just sorted themselves out, so that's fine, isn't it? Now his mouth has gone all weird, so there we go. We saw that out. He got. He looks nice and pretty now. I know. I know. He wanted to be scary, but you know what's? You can't really make him scary. Like, you know. We've made him a model. That's what we've. He comes back up. And everyone says it's scary. I'm not too sure. It didn't really frighten me. I was too busy looking at his penis. He almost scared himself. So that's always nice. Has to be done. Now he just emerges in this black room. No idea what he's doing. But he's there. And now we meet this little guy. He wants us to design a new outfit for him. As a designer myself, I am uh, very popular. I uh, produce all the best clothes. I personally reckon to make this guy's outfit stand out, on the back of his head, he needs to put a penis. That's what I reckon. There you go. Like that. Now, if you saw that guy walking past, like ladies, if you saw him walking past, you wouldn't just jump at him. Right, you can't tell me you wouldn't jump at him. I would. So, you know, success. Give him one big eyeball. And a, and a weird smile. Right now he looks a bit like the minions from Despicable Me. So that's always nice. The only problem is the mouth sort of just blends in with the skin so you can't really see. So it's like a big eyeball with a penis on the back of his head. He wants us to name it, so we're going to freeze, because we're panicking. We're like, what? What? And then he just comes to us. What a better name than Penissa. Good old Penissa. Take a nice picture of Penissa. Add that to the uh, collection of people this awesome penis-loving dude has met in his lifetime. And now... He, he or she, God knows, wants us to carry him. Because, uh, you know, he might as well just ride his own penis. That's what I'd do. But, you know, I'm not in. So, there you go. That's it. That's the, that's the journey so far for Penis Lover. Because things change, but the memories don't. You only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun.